If you're a recurring audience member, thanks so much for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. I uh, hope you're enjoying your stay here so far, or if you just got here, <laughs> welcome to Kauai. It's, it's the best island out of all of them, just letting you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just, I'll be playing for about an hour, just all kinds of music on the violin. I got pop, rock, fiddle, country. Uh, my favorite kind is like soundtrack film, film scores. I usually like to toss a few of those in there. And I also have some originals that I'll probably share. But yeah, feel free to shout out any favorite artists, bands, um, types of music that you guys like to hear. I love hearing suggestions from the audience, but um, I figured I'd start with that one. That's always a beautiful one to uh, play, especially it's because it's almost Easter <laughs> tomorrow, right? It's a perfect one to celebrate. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll try another one here that I just recently learned. It's appropriate, I think, for Easter. <laughs> and um, it's by Carrie Underwood, originally.
Thank you very much. Um, did any of you guys know the name of that song, or did you recognize it? Yeah, that's an OG Carrie Underwood song, right? It's uh, Jesus Take the Wheel. I always loved that song ever since I watched American Idol, and she came out with that. And, uh, yeah, I thought it might sound cool on the violin, so <laughs> hopefully you like that one. Uh, I, wanted, I was thinking maybe another one that's kind of Easter-ish is um, <laughs> Easter-ish. Ave Maria, because um, it's, you know, religious, but it's also just a really beautiful, <laughs> beautiful melody that a lot of people recognize. I'll try that one. I haven't played it in a while.
<laughs> um, yeah, I just really love how music can just touch your hearts in ways that other things can't. And, um, you know, it just, to me, is like a universal language that brings people together and no matter where you come from, and you, know, you can always enjoy music together. And that's why I love playing to people and I'm very grateful to have <laughs> my support system, my family that always comes out to my gigs and helps me. They're my, my momager, <laughs> my, my, my roadie, <laughs> my grandma. <laughs> we my use dad's her. usually here too, but he's too busy studying. <laughs> he's doing a, a program, but um, yeah, he's usually here. And, um, you know, yeah, people online too, just amazing technology. You know, you can connect with people all over the world with, with YouTube and other social media, just streaming and stuff. So, thanks for watching, everyone on YouTube. Amy and, and uh, Mark. Yeah, so I'm bringing that up because uh, my music that I like to write uh, hopefully has like an uplifting message for people that are listening. And, they don't have lyrics, none of my songs have lyrics, but it's just instrumental on you know, violin. And, um, I just hope that whoever's listening to my act, my originals and stuff, they get something out of it. So maybe I'll try one that I haven't done in a while. Um, yeah, how about I try one of my songs called Rise Up. And uh, yeah, this one's just kind of builds, you know, it starts off a little bit, you know, not too loud or too, you know, it's just soothing at first and then it just hopefully has a um, uplifting feeling to it and it's peaceful as well, like that Ave Maria, but hopefully it's more upbeat. So um, yeah, I hope you, hopefully you like this interesting style of violin <laughs> uh, instrumental music.
really been a while since I played that one. I usually just play a few of the songs off my album. And I always forget to practice the other ones. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I just thought, oh, maybe I should bring out some other ones for my album and try them out for you guys. Uh, maybe I'll try one more before I do something else. How about... Which one do you want to hear, huh? Are you know, one, or...? You know which is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's tr she three, has a few three favorites. favorites. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe I'll... I mean, I always like playing this one when my grandma's around, because it's it was inspired by her, so I always play that one. It's, um, it's just a song that I wrote called Recovery, because you know the story, Grandma, right? Um, she <laughs> fell down and broke her back a couple times near the end of 2019, and um, we didn't know if she was going to be able to walk again, didn't know what was going to happen. She was really uh, in a lot of pain for a while, and thankfully she got a surgery, and or she got two surgeries. The first one didn't really work, <laughs> and then the second one, thankfully, um, helped her be able to walk again, and she's able to come and see me play and just really thank her for that. But um, I wrote a song during that time just to help us kind of heal, all heal from that and just keep that healing energy going. And yeah, very, very grateful that she was able to recover. So yeah, this is for all the people that are going through things, either physically, emotionally, you know, that you need a little healing in your life right now. So here's recovery.
questions for you, Grandma. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I just, like I said, I love how music is a universal language. Plus, I just love, yeah, it's literally like therapy, you know. Like, so I actually almost studied music therapy in college. Um, I went to the College of Worcester in Ohio. Is anyone from Ohio here or close to that area? Thank you. Yes, and I have uh, business cards too, just to, for social media. Is that? Oh yeah, it should be over there. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I was interested in the whole idea of music therapy, and uh, I started the program at the College of Worcester, but I ended up just after a while changing to just music performance because I realized that I enjoyed doing that as well. And, um, still feel like just playing for people and with people, you know, that can be a therapeutic thing, hopefully. And um, I started playing the violin when I was 10 years old and uh, just really happy my parents let me do it because I haven't put it, put it down since, you know, so I even ended up studying it in college and now I'm, you know, back here and just uh, playing as much as I can around the island and other islands sometimes and uh, teaching. I, was, I enjoy teaching music lessons, violin and piano. Amy and Mark are on. Oh, Amy and Mark. Oh, yeah. yeah, talk about Worcester. Yes, yeah, so Worcester. Worcester. Those are some friends that I... And um, they, they helped you out a they lot. They helped me a lot and, and <laughs> when I was uh, there for four years in, in college. And, yeah, hey, thanks yeah, for Yeah, thanks in. for taking her to the airport. <laughs> yeah, thanks for taking me to the airport and helping me drive me around because I didn't have my own car. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was talking about well, yeah, Mr. I started when I was 10 and uh, ended up studying it and just now I'm, I love teaching it as well too anyone so if you're interested in taking lessons I do online plus um, in person and I also work at King K Elementary which is in the Hanamalu area and I kind of do music slash Hawaiian studies over there and yeah it's just I never thought I'd work with kids so much but it's been, it's been pretty fun and it's just great to share the music with them as well so if there's Usually if there's kids around, I try to play like Disney or something that, you know, maybe, I don't know if they're going to stick around. <laughs> maybe I'll try one and see if they, <laughs> which one? Yeah, I've got to learn some new Disney ones. One that I haven't played in a while that you guys might recognize. This is a classic Disney movie like from when I was growing up.
but it wants you to play untold. So 
I like to play some of her songs. And she's coming out with a new album pretty soon, mm -hmm. around June. Um, so her there's a single that she just released, and it's called Eye of the Untold Her. And I guess someone on YouTube is requesting it. Who, who is uh, that? Carlos Henrique. Carlos, yeah. yeah. Matthew, I love that new song. It's and Ma cool. Matthew is on. Maybe you can play their, their song. Matthew Lim. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can do that because I know Mom wanted to hear that one. But anyway, um, yeah, this is, she does like electronic dance music, uh, dubstep kind of style. So it's very uh, different different style than usual. But I'll try not to be too loud here. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty epic song. Try to lower the volume of the. <laughs> you like loud? He said he likes loud. Even yeah, he, I mean, he's I, like right by the. <laughs> that's sometimes it can get really loud. Yeah, they're on the phone trying to talk to people. Oh wait, why do you even have the backpack? Oh no. If you don't, then oh well, I guess I can't hear. Oh, I did.
seen it? Did you watch it? Yeah. I mean, the original came out back in the 20s. 20s or something. They've just done a lot of remakes of it, but uh, yeah, it's really good acting, great music. So yeah, as you can see, just love stuff from movies. <laughs> but maybe. I only have 10 more minutes. Oh, I that went by fast. Um, I was thinking I could do a classical, one of my favorite classical pieces. I could do another country song. I, haven't, I usually don't. Easter uh, Parade? Do you know Easter Parade? Easter Parade. No, it's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. No, I didn't know that one. <laughs> Does it have mu music in it? Oh, it was a musical. Oh. Yeah, maybe I can learn some music from that one. Easter Parade. When did that one? Pretty, yeah. Yeah, real. Yeah, I don't know. They used to play it on TV a lot at Easter time. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> maybe they play it still, but you know what the channels. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, maybe, I haven't, let me do one country song that I haven't played before. Uh, one by Lone Star, I don't know if you guys know that band. I hardly play country music, but I just started getting into it, and I don't know, yeah. All these years I've kind of been like, eh, country music. But the more that I listen to it, I'm kind of <laughs> getting into it. <laughs>
know that one? I mean, it's, yeah, it's played a lot on like, well, it's, it's a famous country song and it's played a lot on uh, singing shows, so that's actually how I know know it from like American Idol and uh, The Voice and stuff I like to watch. And I was like, hey, that one might sound nice on Violet. <laughs> so I hope you like that one. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to learn more country stuff <laughs> because I know a lot of people really like country, plus I think Hopefully it translates pretty well on Friday. But yeah, I only have a few, maybe I'll do a couple more songs. Since it's Easter, maybe I'll finish up with the prayer like I did. Yeah, I know you like that one. It's perfect for the occasion. Do you want the Andrea Bocelli one or yes. the Hawaiian one? Regular one. Regular one? <laughs> All right. <laughs>
to stay here on Kauai and uh, hopefully better weather than we did here. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Mm, yeah, I'm sure. If you're, coming, if you're coming from uh, the mainland, it's a lot better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me just finish off with one of my originals here for the last song. I like to play this song. Well, should I do? Do you want to hear more of a intimate one for the end, or do you want to hear more of an upbeat one? Upbeat. 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 Yeah, let's try it since I did kind of an intimate one <laughs> for the prayer. But um, yeah, this one I wrote. It's called "Before You Go," and it's just a song to hopefully leave you feeling happy and and um, joyful as you continue with your day after uh, sitting here and watching a random violinist for an hour. So thank you very much for, for doing that. And uh, yeah, a song to leave you with before you go.
art walk, art night first Saturday of the month every time they do. They have like vendors and musicians and stuff that goes on. It's usually between 5 p.m. till around 9 p.m. But I think I'm going to probably be playing a little bit earlier. What was it? 4.30? I think 4.30 till 8 is when I usually play. And I'm usually right by Olympic Cafe, uh, that restaurant over there, that right next to the bank, First Hawaiian Bank. But yeah, if you're, are any of you guys going to be here next week? I know you guys, you've been here for a while and thanks for always coming every time. I know, it just so happened, I was like, I don't know, keep coming. Each, each weekend. Usually I only play, like I said, once a month, once or twice a month, but I was like, if I'm free, I might as well just keep coming back here. You guys make it worthwhile, so thanks for, for listening and being a great audience. Um, but yeah, feel free to grab a business card. You can follow me on social media. And, Everybody's oh, freezing. Yeah, over there. The wind is just coming. I'm so glad. Kind of blocked a little bit here. <laughs> but I get really warm when I start playing violin, so. But, uh, yeah, I also have CDs with all those originals on there. And if you like that kind of music, feel free to ask me about it. Uh, I think they're $15, $15 and you can pay and is it cash, Venmo, PayPal, whatever works. And um, I'll sign it for you. <laughs> and it's just, you know. Interesting that CDs are kind of obsolete now, but some people still listen to them, and usually they have CD players in their cars, and that's like the only way that you can listen to it. But it's nice to have a physical copy sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, um, Kimberly, hope hope to see you. Hope to see you next time, or if you're still here. Um, and yeah, just I hope you really enjoy your stay here on Kauai. Mahalo. Thank you guys. See you next week at the Art Walk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>